Hello golfers. Hey, I've got a fantastic tip for you. This is how to make a correct full swing. Now, the first question we've got to ask, many of you out there that have played for a number of years, take a look at this golf tip. Here's a question. Two plus two is, of course, full. And a golf swing is, see, not so easy of a question. So the one thing that we want to do is we want to start learning and understanding what a golf swing is. The hard definition of a golf swing is an arc, which is the portion of a circle, and a circle is symmetrical. So whatever happens on one side of the arc needs to happen on the other side. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we know how to make the swing correctly. So in order to make the swing correctly, we want to kind of understand a little bit. So that was the hard definition. The easy definition of the swing, however, is this. It's simply the motion between two points. Motion between two points. I know that sounds pretty simple. Let's see if we can kind of keep it there. Now let's understand if we can devise where those two points are at so that we can make the same swing time and time again. First of all, what we want to do is we want to understand what a finish position of a golf swing is. Why is that important? Well, if I was to take and throw you a frisbee, and I throw it, this finish position right here is very important. If I was to shoot a basketball, that finish position is very important. And that's something that we never really think about. If I said, where do you finish your swing to make sure that you hit a straight ball? Really, most of you, the answer is you never really thought of that. So in any other sport, if I want to throw the baseball, wham, right there at you. I know that I've got to finish in this position. But in golf, what we do is we make a swing and we say we've got to finish somewhere out here, or I've got to finish towards my target. And that's simply not true, and that's something that we don't think a lot about. If a baseball was coming in and I wanted to hit it with a bat, wham, what direction did I just hit it? Well, I hit it out. I didn't hit it up. I didn't hit it around, I simply hit it out. We didn't think right, left, or straight. But if I say what direction you want to hit a golf ball, we say straight. So we've got to understand that the finished position, the finished position really dictates what direction the ball is going to go. So what I'm going to do, and I want you guys to do this at home as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something here that's going to help us determine where the finished position's at. I'm going to pretend that there's a ball floating right here in front of me. With my right hand, I'm going to put it right up against the ball. And now I'm simply going to make a swing with me feeling what I feel is straight. Now I feel that's a straight ball. And what I'm going to do now is in this pose position, I'm just going to simply take my right arm and I'm going to bend it straight now. When I bend it down, it just finished right arm on top of left shoulder. That finished position should be in common with all of us. All of us should be finished in the same place, right hand above left shoulder. Now, if I come through, and we hit the ball to the right. You guys out there that slice the ball or hit it to the right frequently, what we have to understand is there's only one reason why the ball goes to the right, and that one reason is simply this. The club face is open. Now, I know a lot of you believe that it's a cut across or it's a bad grip or a bad stance. You know what? Those things could add to that club face opening, but this club face simply being open is the number one reason the ball goes to the right. So if I came through and right at the impact, I just opened my hand up, to the right, and I made the exact same swing. Watch what happens. Now, if I bend my arm down, I've now finished right there by the neck. So I finished a completely different location than I did the first time for the straight ball. So if I hit the ball to the right, as we can see, that that club face had to have been open, and that dictated the finish of the swing. So we just learned that the impact on the ball dictated the finish of the swing. The impact dictates the finish, or we could even reverse that. The finish can dictate the impact. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through and I'm going to close that face like this. And as I close my hand, of course the ball is going to go to the left. And now when I bend that arm, you can see I clearly am finishing on the outside of that shoulder. So what we did is we had three different finish positions. If I was going to throw a baseball to you, there's one straight ball. This one's to my right, your left. And this one's to my left, your right. So in throwing that baseball, I had three different finish positions. And a golf swing's no different. Most of us think of a golf swing as an alien sport or an alien shot. Golf is just like any other sport. If we compare apples to apples, we can understand that the finish position is extremely important. The finish position should be right hand above left shoulder. So when we take a look at the swing, it's the motion between two points. So what we just did was we just figured out one position. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to detail a little bit more. If I come through. Right hand's above left shoulder. I want to detail it by taking the club and making it perpendicular to the ground, dropping it straight down, and now it's at my left heel. Now that club being at my left heel is a detailed position. Now we want to ask this. What is a backswing? Well, 
There's two terminologies in golf that I just absolutely hate. One is called the grip, because I don't grip a club, I hold it. And the other is called backswing. Now, many of you have been told a thousand times, slow the backswing down. Well, the reason why we've been told to slow the backswing down is because we make it too fast. And we make it too fast because of the terminology, back swing. There is no such thing as a back swing. I'm not swinging anything. I'm not trying to hit anything. So the word backswing is very misleading. What I want to do is I want to understand what a backswing is. And a backswing is simply the positioning of the follow-through. I want you to understand that. It's the positioning of the follow-through. So if I position the backswing placement two or three different places, then I have to have two or three different follow-throughs. Therefore, I'm going to have two or three different directions. So I need to make sure that I place the backswing the same place each and every time. So when I take this club away from the ball, it's very, very important that I start the follow through from, through from the same place every time. So watch. I want to take, at the beginning of my swing now, and I want to push that left arm away. As I push that left arm away, I'm going to make a left shoulder turn. And when I get to the top of the swing, I'm just going to simply hinge. Now, I'm going to take a look where my left hand is, and right now it's straight across from the right shoulder. I'm going to now make the club perpendicular to the ground, and I'm going to drop it down, and it's at my right heel. So what we said at the beginning, a golf swing was simply the motion between two points, and the hard definition was, it was an arc, a portion of a circle, and a circle is symmetrical. So whatever happens on one side, therefore, should happen on the other. So to make this swing symmetric, for a straight ball, we finished right hand above left shoulder, where the butt of the club was at the left heel. So the beginning of the follow through then would be left hand straight across from right shoulder, or the butt of the club at the back of the right heel. So the true position of a golf swing is position A, position B. Position A, left hand across from right shoulder. Position B, right hand above left shoulder. A, B makes a perfect arc and it only produces a straight ball. However, position A, C by the ear, that means the club face is now open, produces a right shot. And then A, D outside the shoulder, that would produce a closed club face producing a draw. So I've got three different finish positions and I have one starting position. So before I get ready to make a shot, I want to feel what I want my ball flight to be. And so therefore, I would swing A, B for a straight ball, A, C for a little bit of a cut, or A, D for a little bit of a draw. That would dictate the impact on the ball, which dictates the flight pattern, which now allows me to make a swing consistent. And consistency is a recipe that produces a result. So when we want consistency, we need to know what it is that we want to achieve. And what we're trying to achieve today is a golf swing. Two plus two is four, and a golf swing is simply the motion between two points.